morning, Hope Community Church. I want to look at a passage in Matthew's Gospel, Matthew 9, 9. And the Bible says, as Jesus passed on from there, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth. And he said to him, follow me. And he rose and followed him. And as Jesus reclined at the table in the house, behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and were reclining with Jesus and his disciples. Let me pause right there. If we're going to follow Jesus, we're going to be around some broken people. In fact, he calls us to be around broken people. We're going to be around the hurting. We're going to be around the oppressed. In fact, we're going to, we're going to stand with them um, if, if we want to follow Jesus. And uh, the Pharisees, they didn't necessarily like this. Um, actually, it, it went against their tradition because they were not to eat with people that were ceremonially unclean or, or what they considered sinners. And the Bible continues and it says, And when the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard this, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Then he says to, to them, he says, go and learn what this means. In other words, even though you guys consider yourself leaders, you have great information for everyone else, there's something you need to learn. It's something that I need to continue to learn. Perhaps you need to continue to learn. He says, I desire mercy and not sacrifice. For I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. He's reminding them that this whole sacrificial system, the whole system of worship was set up for God to display his mercy. And they have forgot, forgotten about that. We need to remember that we worship a God of grace and mercy. We need to be merciful people. So who is it today that that you need to associate yourself with? Who are the oppressed, the broken, those who are caught in sin that you need to come alongside and show mercy to today? Love you, church.